Hey everybody, this is Joe from Excel by Joe. In uh, this video, what I want to do is take data from here, which is a whole list of uh, sales data from a certain company, and create a top sales chart like this that scrolls, that use a scroll bar here to list, and you can easily go down. So you have this little area, and you can, li you can list hundreds of records just by scrolling. So we're going to go through that video uh, and show you how to do that in one second. Uh, I just want to remind you guys, if you uh, like this video, please click the like button um, and uh, share it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet to check out even more. So let's just get right into, uh, into doing this. So our first step here is getting the data. I've already got the data in here and if you're doing a, a table like this, you probably will have the data. Um, this is just made up fictional data which I just created. Uh, I've got a video. I'll put a link right here on the screen if uh, if you want to see how I can how you can create sample data like this. But so here we go. Here we've got, we've got all the data. We got different location IDs. We got 2019 sales and gross profit, uh, 2020 sales and gross profit, and also kind of like a little hierarchy level to uh, kind of sort these out where uh, where they're located. So after we got the data, first step is to make a pivot table. So you put your cursor anywhere on there. You go to insert pivot table. It's going to do the whole table range because it's already formatted as a table. And I'm going to put on a new worksheet. And to do now what we want to do, we want to put the location ID over in the rows. And let's do 2020 sales and 2020 gross profit. So let's first format these numbers, make them look a little more uh, presentable. Format this number. I'm just right clicking, going to format number. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to sort these from largest to smallest. So now we've got all our location IDs. Here's uh, it's sorted by sales and then we got gross profit. So we've got our pivot table set. Now what we want to do, I want to insert a couple columns, and this is where we can just rank them. This is number one, number two, and I want to copy this down because this is what our other our dashboard is going to pull from. It's going to do a VLOOKUP off the number. So let's just pull our top 250 or so. I'll just label top 250 there. So we have that all set. And now let's create a table here for the dashboard. So this would be dashboard 2020. I'm not going to make a full full looking dashboard here. Let's just get a couple basic set. And here is where we're going to we're going to do our sales. So this will be top sales in 2020. And we can just start naming our fields. We want the location. We got 2020 sales, 2020 gross profit. And then let's go to our data because I want to also pull in the 10 level, 20 level, and 30 level. So let's put 10 level, 20 level, 30 level. And we can just format, I'm not going to format this uh, real well. This will be number one because that's going to be the first location. We're going to probably have to make this a little bit bigger for some of these numbers. But So we've got our numbers here. We only want to focus on this number one. All the numbers after that are going to be dependent on this, this one. So like this number two will be equals this plus one. So that become two. And let's for this example, let's just put our top 10 records. So here's going to be our whole dashboard. I'm going to make this um, a real light colored. And let's center all the data. Okay, so now we got our, our table all built. And now we're ready to start pulling in the information. So we've got this 1 through 10 here. But as this number changes... The rest of this will change, and that's where our scrolling our scroll bar comes in. 
Uh, to do that, you need to have the developer tab uh, set up. If you don't have the developer tab on there, you're going to have to go up to File, and then down to Options, and you're going to go to Customize the Ribbon, and then you're going to have to find the uh, developer tab and make sure you check it. So what you do, you can click Developer, and we go to Insert, and we're going to find a little scroll bar up here in Form Controls, and we're going to build it right here. Now we're going to right click on it and go to Format the Control. Our current value is 1, minimum value is 1, maximum value we're not going to go past 250, incremental change by 1, the page change just means if you click in here, instead of going by 1, it'll, it'll go by 10. And the cell link, this is the most important part, you want to link to this number 1 right here. So we click OK. So now the scroll bar is linked to this, only to this number 1, that's all it needs to link to. Because when you click the down arrow, now it becomes a 2 and everything else changes with it. So it becomes, see this becomes a 3, becomes a 4. Then you can click in the middle and it'll go down by 10 records. And it'll go like that. So now all we need to do is just make some VLOOKUPs to pull the information in and we're good to go. So I'm scrolling up to, back to number 1. So let's do a VLOOKUP. We're going to look up this number 1 in our pivot table right here. So we're highlighting one, two, three, four, five. So we want one, two, three, the fourth column for sales, comma four, comma false. So here's our location ID. Now if we get, get our sales, we do the exact same thing. Go to our sheet, highlight the whole table, and now one, two, three, four. Four for our, our sales. Actually, location is number three. I put the wrong one there, so be sure to change that to three. So there's our location. Here's our sales. What's our gross profit? We're going to do the same thing. We're looking up the number one. And we go one, two, three, four, five. Gross profit is five. So if you see here, here's the third column, the fourth column, and the fifth column. We want to format these as numbers. Or we could form it as dollars, whatever you want. There's the location ID. I want to center this to give it a little more space. And now to get the 10 level, if you notice in this, we don't have any of the hierarchy in here, but we do have it in the data table. So all we need to do is a VLOOKUP, but we're going to do a VLOOKUP off of the location instead of the number. So we pull in the location, we go to the data table, and we're highlighting column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven and eight so we want six seven and eight on here so first is six so this is in the east we can also just copy this paste it in here paste it in here and then just go in and manually change this now to column seven change the 30 level to column eight Um, I think I want to center the whole thing. Copying this down. There. Now we've got our location. I always like to outline it. it makes it look a little nicer. And here's the... Let's see if this works. We click down. Everything is updating. See, because all this is, is, it's changing this number three. Everything is based off this number three. And then all these VLOOKUPs are just based off the sales rank. And if you don't even want to see this, you could highlight it, you could hide it, but it's also it's also kind of nice to know where where you are. I mean, by hiding, I mean just closing the column like this so then you don't actually see the number and it'll still work. But you might want to keep it open just so you know where, like this is the number five in sales and so on. So that's it. Um, I mean, you can format the table, a little, look a little nicer. Uh, this is more just to kind of show you the functionality of how to get it set up. So um, that's it for the video. I uh, hope this was helpful and uh, you learned something. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Like this video if you, uh, if you do enjoy it. Put a comment down below. And um, thanks for, for checking it out. Um, uh, and have a, have a great day.